I'm very curious about a theory, probably a hypothesis, mm -hmm. you once mentioned about dog consciousness being enhanced by association with us, question mark. Totally. And I must say, I share credit for that hypothesis with our dog. <laughs> Luckily, she does not ask for authorship on such things. No, she's very generous with respect mm -hmm. to auth authorship. Um, Although she is going to be mad to find out that she's been diagnosed as a golden retriever. Right. And when that dog gets mad, I've actually never seen it. Right. It doesn't happen. No, it doesn't get mad. She gets no. even. No. No. Um, okay. So the question is, why would I say such a thing about well, I'm just dogs? curious. I'm curious about a hypothesis you once mentioned about dog consciousness being enhanced by association with us. Okay. So you got to step into uh, Heather and my toolkit on consciousness, which starts from the premise that consciousness is most fundamentally about the so-called intersubjective space. That is to say, the reason that you would evolve something as clumsy as consciousness is because it's the only way to accomplish the trick of exchanging abstract ideas between two individuals. You have to basically have an agreement on what you've said, right? So that you, you know what it is that you're processing. That means that um, basically there has to be a shared space. And the point is that shared space is inherently about language, right? Language is the tool that we use to access the shared space, to hand over an idea, to get it parallel processed, which is the reason for consciousness. Once you have that consciousness, you can do it in your own mind. You can debate between two possibilities, just as you would between two people. But the point is, the more linguistic you are, the more uh, rendered that shared space is. And the weird thing is, dogs are pretty much second, right? You can make an argument for certain birds that they can get a large vocabulary. And I've in fact heard some stories even last week, we heard a story about a bird that appeared to be able to put together uh, disjunct words to make new concepts. I'd love to see that demonstrated, a but parrot. anyway, a parrot, mm -hmm. one of a couple of families in which you might expect such such things. Corvids would be another. Crows, um, ravens, jays. Yep. Uh, but the point is dogs are weirdly asymmetrical language wise. They can only say a few words. Mostly loudly. Yes. Um, I can't say any words, no. um, but they can understand a great uh, many words. They can have a large vocabulary of things that they actually yeah, do they understand. They have no productive language, but they have receptive language. Right. What's yeah. more, if you look at our shared consciousness uh, model, it really isn't about language itself. It is about understanding what the other person is thinking, which language is by far the most efficient way to do that. And dogs are pretty good at understanding what we're saying to them if we're consistent about it. Um, but dogs are really good at figuring out what we're thinking from other cues too. You know, as hunting partners, for example, the dog intuits what it is that the hunter that they are partnered with wants them to do to facilitate the hunt because they understand the hunter because they've done it a bunch of times and they get used to the pattern the way people on a soccer field would get used to what their teammates are going to do and they would intuit it without anybody having to say anything. Mm -hmm. So the point is, it is the partnership between people and dogs that has clearly made dogs more conscious than their wild counterparts. And I would argue more conscious than even our closest relatives in many cases. So um, dogs are a special case because they've hung out with us for so long. And I, the thing about dogs that you don't necessarily intuit is their history of domestication is longer than any other critters. It's longer and more intense because it doesn't have anything to do with farming. It has to do with hunting. And because it has to do with hunting, it goes back some 30,000 years, whereas every other human partnership with an animal is goes back less than 10. So anyway, dogs are special. They've been hanging out with us for a long time and they have some idea what we're thinking at this point, which is the basic answer to your question. 